In this video, we're going to talk a bit more about the photoreceptors. Remember, photo means light, and receptors means detect. And the two different types of photoreceptors that we have in our body are the actual rods and the cones, right? So the rods and cones are the photoreceptors that we're going to be talking about, so rods and cones. And what we have to talk about in terms of rods and cones is a couple of different things. We have to talk about the difference in structure, distribution, so where we can find them, the structures or how they look like, and the functions, so what they actually do. So we have to describe the difference in distribution, where they can found, structure, how they look like, and function, what they do. All right, so we'll start with the first one first, or actually the second one first, the structure. So what is their structure and how is their structure different? So first of all, if you look at the two different ones, you probably can tell already that they have, they look a bit different. They have their outer segment, the outer segment is a segment that contains the light sensitive pigments. We said that rhodopsin and iodopsin was um, the light sensitive pigments, right? So that was found in the outer segment, which is this part here. So you can see the rods are shaped, the outer segment, which is where you can find these pigments, is shaped like a rod. Whereas for the cones, the outer segment is shaped like a cone, which is why they're called cones and rods. So that's a structural difference. We have an outer segment shaped like rods and rods, outer segment shaped like cones and cones. That's the first, right? So difference in outer segment, where we have these light sensitive pigments. The other part was what kind of light sensitive pigments we can find. That's not a structural difference. So we can find rhodopsin in rods. Rhodopsin will change light into black and white images and that's found only in rods, whereas iodopsin is found in cones. And there's three different types of iodopsins. One rod, sorry, one cone will have the red one that will make, produce a red light. The other one will have a green one, and then there's another one that has blue. So there's actually three different types of cones. So three cones, each has a iodopsin that will make a specific color, right? red, green, and blue, and that gives us our whole color vision. So in terms of structural difference, remember the outer segment looks different. One has the shape of a cone. Sorry, yeah, the cone, that's the cone cell. The other one has the shape of a rod, and that's the rod shell. Uh, rod, cell, not shell. That's the first difference. And also in terms of, remember this is what we talked about last time, you'll have light coming in. Light comes in this way. This is All of this is the retina. Light will pass through, hit the back of the eye. So light will pass will actually come this way, it'll move all these different types of nerve cells, then hit the rod and cone cells all the way on the bottom of that actual retina. Right? So the last layer of the retina is the rods and cones. They will change the light into an electrical impulse, and then that electrical impulse will be going back. So the, where are they located? They are located in the retina. Both the rods and cones are located on the bottom layer of the retina, bottom layer of the retina. It'll change that light into electrical impulses and send that signal back up towards the brain. Right, but now that was structure. Now the distribution is where we can find them. So distribution is where we can find them. I'll talk about the rods first. Rods are there for, we'll talk about in a second, black and white. So if it's, for example, dark, quite dark, you usually use mostly your um, black and white vision and that would be done by the rods. Now, the rods, they can be found basically all over. So they're there found, I'm just drawing random rods, they're gonna be found quite quite evenly distributed across the retina. They're gonna be found evenly distributed across the retina. They might be a bit more on the sides, they, might, they actually might be a bit more on the sides as opposed to in the middle, but these rods are gonna be quite evenly distributed. So even distribution. Which means that whilst we only need a bit of light to be able to pick things up, so a bit of light means we can still see in black and white. But because they're not really concentrated or evenly distributed, that means that whilst we can see the light quite easily, even if only a bit of light comes in, it's not going to be a really clear image. Obviously, when your night vision isn't perfect, that's because these rods are evenly distributed across the retina. In difference to cones, cones are not evenly distributed. I'm gonna I'm not gonna draw cones as 
different colors, but the different colors they have, right? C O N E S. These are the three different types of cones we have and the colors they have. Uh, they're actually going to be found in groups and po in pockets, right? So in, as opposed to it being found evenly distributed, there might be a pocket where there's lots of them, and that's the fovea. It's a special, uh, specifically a pocket where lots of these can be found. So each of these dots would be a actual cone, and you can see these different cones because they have these different colors. So there might be nothing for a while, and then it might happen again. So there might be, I'm just going to move this down. There might be just groups as opposed to sort of clusters, as opposed to being evenly distributed, but just a few and far between. So this is how it looks for cones. And if you compare that to rods, it might be like this. There might be one here, 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 here. So with rods, it's evenly distributed, but they're not that many in one spot. Whereas for cones, there's nothing here. Right? This area is no cones, but there could be some groups with lots of cones. And the one area that has the most cones is the fovea. The fovea is that spot. Right? So there'd be lots of them there. This spot here would be the fovea. And the fovea has only cones, no rods. That's also important to know. The fovea is where we focus light if you see if we look at stuff during the day. So what I've done covered so far is two of these things, distribution and structure. Remember structure, we've got the outer segments looking different. Rods have rod shaped, cones have cone shaped, and the different chemicals for photos sense of chemicals, dopsin in rods and iodopsin in cones. And distribution, we said that the rods were evenly distributed, which means there are they have their covering the whole retina, but the problem is they're not very dense. Whereas the cones are very dense, but there will be pockets where there will be very little cones because they're not evenly distributed. It's just clusters and then nothing and then clusters. And the one biggest cluster we have is the fovea, which is purely cones. Uh, that's what we've covered so far. And I'm still going to talk about quickly about their function because that's the last thing we've talked about, the function. Uh, it was a function of our actual cells. The function was to see light, but different types of light. So dim light, which means if we only have a very, very bit of light coming into our eye, that's what your rods do. Right? So your rods are there for dim light, and your cones would be for color vision, right? So cones would be for color vision because they are the ones who detect the three different types of light. So we have a iodopsin in blue, iodopsin in green, and iodopsin in red. Each of these iodopsins are slightly different. They pick up a different types of wavelength of light. So short wave is the blue one, middle wave is the green one, and long wave would be the red one. But combine those three, and we can see basically all the colors of the rainbow, right? So even though we only have three cones, we can mix those colors, red, blue, and green, and we get all these different colors. So we can see color vision, right? So color vision is the job of your cones. and Light, uh, sorry, dim light, so night vision is the job of the rods. Now, when it comes to the cones, we actually need to have lots of light to activate them, lots of light to activate them, which is why we don't see any any color during the day. Uh, sorry, during the night. Hopefully, you see color during the day. Um, we don't see any color during the night because there's not enough light to activate those cones. Whereas the rods, they need sort of they're quite sensitive, which means they don't need much light. In that case, even during times when there's only a bit of light coming from different pockets, that would be enough light to activate those rods. Right? So describe the difference in distribution structure and function. Function, rods allow us to see dim light. Only They're very sensitive, which means only a bit of light will activate them already, and that's good. Whereas cones need lots of light, but the good thing is they, they have these three different types of uh, iodopsin, in their, in their, so three different types of cones, each have a different type of iodopsin, and that allows us to see green, blue, and red, and that mix those colors together, and we can see all the different types of colors of the rainbow, and that means we have got color vision, which we use during the day. But that was basically it, that, that's, that's that part. But I hope that was useful.